Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings season preview with me, Patrick Mummerly. Before we jump into today's report, as always, want to adhere to that risk disclaimer. Most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that the views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine. They're not indicative or representative of those held by Ticknell UK or Ticknell Europe Limited. Okay, let's jump into today's report and we are looking at NVIDIA. NVIDIA are going to announce earnings after the close of New York trade today. We're looking for an earnings per share result of 67 cents on revenue of 5.8 billion. I would highlight that there is a whisper number on the street that the EPS could come in as high as 74 cents. Uh, it's noteworthy that the company has a strong track record of reporting upbeat earnings. It's beaten the street estimates in the preceding eight quarters of reporting. Interestingly, ahead of the Q3 earnings, the stock has actually jumped about 15% over the past couple of weeks. NVIDIA confirmed that it will start offering a new A800 graphics processing chip to its Chinese customers while adhering to the new US regulations. The move has acted as a tailwind, taking the stock higher. On the flip side, analysts expect the sales from the data center segment to report a decline due to lower chip sales in China. Last week, Piper Sandler forecast that the data center segment uh, Q3 sales will be in line with expectations. Looking ahead, they expect the company to guide to sequential growth in the mid to high single digits for the upcoming fourth quarter. Comparing NVIDIA to its peers, um, Piper Sandler believed that NVIDIA has the potential to do better than the market in the long run and better than its peers. And they maintain a buy rating on the stock with a price target of $200. Oppenheimer, on the other hand, have lowered their price target on NVIDIA to $225 per share, uh, down from a $250 target, uh, but they do maintain a buy rating on the stock. Based on enterprise spending, weakening gaming inventory woes, and US-China export restrictions, uh, Oppenheimer expects a softer setup for the third and fourth quarters of fiscal year 2022, and they predict that gaming correction to persist into the first half of 2023, um, but they believe that management is working with its channel partners to address excess inventory issues. Let's take a look at some of the statistical uh, trading patterns around the NVIDIA earnings release. Shares have moved higher in the immediate aftermath after earnings 8 out of the prior 12 quarters. On average, the stock has gained 1% in the first day after uh, announcing the earnings. And based on the previous 12 earnings releases, NVIDIA is more likely to trade higher one day after earnings for an average gain of 1.2%. On average, stocks move higher by 0.6% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, the options market is pricing in about a 6.5% move on the earnings release. The stock has actually averaged a 4.5% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, really notable buying 17,617 contracts of the $170 bullish call expiring on Friday. And in general, the options order flow sentiment has been bullish uh, in terms of the flow in the options market. And, and we have 70% of analyst coverage of the stock also bullish, so the setup is looking uh, positive. The NVIDIA share price uh, prior to this recent snapback in terms of that 15% gain has, uh, has drifted 12%. And using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings announcement is 14.7%. So let's take a look at the charts and see if we can identify any technical uh, opportunities uh, for a trade here in the near term. From a technical perspective, like I say, the, the setup looks bullish. I'm actually targeting a move up to the $190 level. Uh, would note here that on the weekly time frame, we have weekly trend line resistance coming in at $183. So what I want to do is I want to establish a long position through that one, uh, 170 level, targeting move up to 183, 190. From there, I'd certainly be trailing up the stops and, uh, and tightening things up because we, I think we'll see some resistance develop in that 190 level. But I think in the, uh, in terms of any pullbacks in the stock, any move back into this 130, 140 area, I think that should provide decent support and I'd certainly be looking to re-engage on the long side. So in the near term, want to be long through 170, targeting 180, 190. There I'd certainly be tightening up those stops, looking to lock in profits. And then any pullbacks into 130, 140, I'd look to re-engage again on the long side. 
As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.